Oh yes, people of God, glory be to God. Little by little, the year keeps going and January is running. Yes, God has been good and we give him praise. Let us pray. Father, we bless you again and again for life and we continue to commit ourselves unto you. Be a guide and a guard over us through Jesus the Christ our Lord. Amen. What are we talking about? Still, on the poisons of our times. The slow poisons. I mean, slow, 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 slow. And today we are talking about wrath. 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 It is that strong anger and hatred toward another person. That strong anger and hatred towards another person. Uncontrolled feeling of anger and rage and hatred that sometimes eats us up. When anger generates into wrath, our intentions are taken over and we do not have control. Oftentimes, it is accompanied by violence and a test to inflict pain and vengeance on other persons. Oh dear. You see, um, these things, these wrath and anger leads to impatience. It leads to hateful antagonism, revenge, self-destruction, behaviors such as abuses of drugs and suicide. Sometimes you are so angry, you want to kill. Hey, be careful. You see, it can lead to violence, physical abuse in relationship. Your, 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 your fiancé, your husband, your wife, your friend, you even lead to abuse. Domestic violence and conflicts and wars are as a result of these wrath that keep ravaging us. But see, the Bible is clear. Romans chapter 12 verse 19. Beloved, never avenge yourself, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, vengeance is mine, I will repay, says the Lord. Sometimes, yes, you are justified to be angry, but look. Leave it to God. Vengeance is of the Lord. Let not wrath rule you and control you. What does Psalm 37 verse 8 says? Psalm 37 verse 8 says, says that, Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Do not fret. It only causes harm. It only causes harm when you are so angry and you are full of wrath. Just leave it to God. Don't allow anger and, uh, and wrath to lead you. They can cause a lot of trouble for you. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 29. Oh, I love Proverbs chapter 14, verse 29. He who is slow to wrath has great understanding, but he who is impulsive exalts fully. <laughs> Can you see the psalm is interesting? The proverb is so 14, 29. He says that he who is slow to wrath has great understanding. You see, be careful. Don't rush into getting angry. Calm down and you will have great understanding. Because, you see, sometimes the things that you are angry about, it is probably because you do not understand the situation. But look, if you calm down and allow yourself, you will see great things come your way. You see, in the conclusion, what I'm saying is that patience kills wrath by first understanding the need and desire of others before you speak. Be careful and then let allow wrath lead you onto sin. Many are in prison and in hospitals as a result of wrath. Now they regret. You see, very often after that, you regret of your action. I pray that in this new year, you'll be careful and check your heart and check your feelings. Let us pray. Father, help us. Let the light of your spirit be with us and graciously magnify your will upon us that will live for you in this new year. We thank and bless you that you are with us to the end of the day through Christ our Lord. Amen. So people of God, remember to like, share, and subscribe again and again, and let other persons share on other platforms, and let other persons be blessed also, and God will bless you. See you next week as we end the poisons of our time, and God will bless you. Bye-bye.